Welcome back YouTube. I know it's been a while, but here we are. Today, we're gonna learn how to solder Christmas style. I got a Christmas tree from Amazon. It is a three color Christmas tree. It comes in this little package right here. Um, let's look at the schematic first. We have to learn how the, how the tree is gonna work in the first place. Here we have a nice little schematic of how this is gonna work. And this is what we like to call an isolating oscillating, not isolating, oscillating circuit. So as you can see here, um, switch closes the circuit and then we have current flowing through here, charges this capacitor. As soon as this capacitor gets charged, it opens up this transistor. So all these lights get turned on. You have current going through here, through this resistor, charging this capacitor. And then once it's charged, it charges or it opens up the transistor through the base here. And now you have this side of LEDs light up once this opens up. And then you have the current going through here, through this capacitor, and the transistor opens up these LED lights and then it all goes to the ground. So it's a very oversimplification of the circuit, but I just wanted you to know the simple, the basics of how it works that way when we turn it on, you at least have sort of an idea of how it works. So, let's open up the kit. Uh, one thing I like about these kits is that the PCBs are cut into the shape of the object that you're trying to do. I really like this because it shows electronics as an art. It's really exciting when you can show people how beautiful electronics is and a better, no better way to do it than through little projects like this. So here we have a little baggie full of the components that we have and all the resistors. And they also included a little power box, so that's cool. And there's also a USB connector, which I'm sure there is an input here for this USB. There we go, there's a, there's a connector. All right, so let's get started with this. Real quick, I'm just gonna put these components on a little breadboard and I'm gonna make sure they all work. A word of caution, if you're gonna do this, make sure you know what these LEDs are rated for, okay? So um, we don't want to put too much uh, current through these because they will blow up. So this is interesting. Um, these LEDs are themselves oscillating LEDs. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know exactly how they work, but we can see that they change colors. So it's cool. I'm, I'm excited for this little Christmas project. So I will be using this soldering iron right here. And usually I find that the temperature that I need to be at is right between the green and the blue, like around 400. And the reason is that it allows me to heat up the solder quickly and the wires quickly so that it sticks on quickly, but also it doesn't take a long time to heat up, which would cause the circuit board or whatever else to just melt. You don't want that to happen. And so this soldering iron comes with three things. All right, first we have a sponge with you, which you would use to clean your your soldering tip. And then you have your, uh, this is a what we call a brass tip cleaner. All right, so this just helps you clean the tip of your soldering iron uh, by just, you know, making all the solder come off like that. And then we have the rosin flux, the ro rosin, rosin, rosin. And what this does, it helps you, um, helps your tip 
from oxidizing. So this is always good. I always do this before I start soldering and after I'm done with it, I make sure I clean it off with that. So there we have a good, good working tip right there. All right. And now for the actual soldering of the parts, um, I usually you want to start with the lowest, like the shortest component to the tallest component or from the inside components to the outside components because it gets prickly once you have all these wires coming out through your tree or component. So um, the good thing about these uh, little circuit boards is that they kind of tell you how everything needs to go. So here we have cathode anode side, positive negative. It just, it gives you literally a picture of how you need to put everything together. of the contact pad as well as the solder that way when you put the soldering on the solder on it goes right on the actual pad and the wire so as you can see on this one right here um, it went right on the pad all right it was very easy and once you get the hang of that um, it's pretty much uh, how you know you're doing it right. Uh, just heating up, getting the right temperature, right? Getting the right temperature. And then you heat up the pad and you heat up the wire and then you make sure that you melt it in there. So one, once it takes, it's gonna take very easily, all right? If you don't get the right temperature, you're always gonna take, either it's, it's either gonna take too long for you to heat up the solder or if it's too hot, you're just gonna melt everything. And that's definitely not what you want. So I'm just doing one pad from each light at a time. That way, when I start going for the second pad, it'll be a lot easier because the light would have been in place and it, it's not gonna move. My iron right there, you know, it's starting to get a little bit dirty. And some of that black stuff is from the PCB itself, so you want to go ahead and clean that off. If you feel like you need to put some rosin on it, you can go ahead and do that. So let me just show you that tip again. No more black stuff. Got it all out of the way. All right. So you want you want something to look like this, you know, very shiny. Good good looking tip. Now, it's been a couple days for me, and it's been a second for you, but I'm so ready to finish this tree. I am gonna speed through the last section of it. You guys seen how I solder. You guys saw the first half of how I put the lights together. Now, the second tree is gonna be similar, or the second part of the tree is gonna be similar, but it's gonna be a lot quicker, and then we'll, we'll see this project to the end. All right, so let's do it.
first one, when I was installing the tree to the base, I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. I was kind of like trying to hurry and I installed the tree wrong. So here we have signs where it says positive and negative and you were supposed to kind of line them up. Of course I didn't and I had to unsolder because I went ahead and soldered everything, gosh. It was a nightmare to get this tree off the base because it was perfectly soldered. But anyways, after I took it off, um, flipped it, put it back in there, and then what do you know, it worked. Uh, but in the process, I ended up messing up the switch. And so I had to kind of jimmy rig it or whatever you want to call it, rig it. And now the only way for me to control the on and off status is if I put the battery in or not. But as you can see, the tree works like a champ. I just don't know. But all right guys, thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you like this tree. And if you want to buy it, just go to Amazon. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link below. I don't have an affiliate link system yet but maybe i should get that if i'm gonna keep doing these things well thank you guys for watching hope you guys liked it um if you can hit that like button if you want subscribe but if not well uh hopefully i'll see y'all next time later